I'll, I'll speak to, I guess, Majid Freeman. Um, so if you look at the way that Majid Freeman was, was framing what he was saying, he wasn't anti-Hindu, he was anti-Hindutva. Okay, so it's seen and, as a legitimate political criticism versus... Well, it's political criticism and it's also warning against the violence that will be perpetrated by members of the Hindu diaspora that are extremists. So there's this kind of idea that's kind of self-confirming, right? That there are people within the Hindu diaspora that are committing this violence and therefore we must retaliate against um, them to make sure that this violence doesn't happen again. And this is actually what causes the violence to take place in the first place, yeah. uh, this idea. Uh, I think there's very little understanding uh, in general about the fact that a lot of times this type of blame is laid at the Hindu community just for representing its own interests the same way that you know other communities, like for example, the Jewish community would have people be called Zionists for not really doing anything except for talking about anti-Semitism or just simply practicing their faith. A similar thing would happen to Hindus. Mm -hmm.